What are you doing? This isn't a picture. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I am sharing with you a Q&A and I'm doing this one a tad bit differently. Kate is here to ask me the questions. Hi! Now you might be wondering what questions I'm talking about. I think it was back in like January, I got on the internet and I looked up 50 questions, uh, 50 random questions and I typed them out. I can't remember any of the questions that I even found it's been so long ago and I printed the paper out and I handed it to Kate and I'm like don't tell me any of the questions that's on there you're gonna ask them to me on camera and I'm gonna answer them honestly and hopefully it doesn't take me a long time to answer the questions so we're just gonna question answer share it with you guys and you're gonna see how me and her interact because this is all just this is not planned I have not looked at any of these things and I think she's right through the list hoping that she can pronounce everything. Mm. So, let's go. Oh, let me get my water. I got some water because, you know, it's pollen season around here and it's, yeah, not good for my throat. Okay, let's go, Kate. How tall are you? I am 5'8". What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Y'all probably already know and it's coffee. You guys, I can drink coffee all the time. There are days when I am at work and I text my husband, I'm like, oh, I really need a cup of coffee right now. And he's like, oh, me too. Can you make sure to start a pot when we get home? So it would definitely be coffee with the good International Delight Stone Cold Creamery Creamer. Awesome. What is your favorite snack? My favorite snack would probably, it would have to be the Archer Farms Dark Chocolate Almonds. I just ran out. I've been taking them to work for lunch, so I'll have my salad. And here's what's funny, you guys. I'm still in the middle of eating my salad. So I'll have salad, and then I'll have a few of those as a little... I have a sweet tooth all the time, so I'll eat a few of those after I eat my salad. What is your favorite sport? Oh, my favorite sport? I think I need to say football because my husband's a football coach. But you know what? I like watching football, and I also like watching Kate's cheer competition, so I would probably say both of those. <clears throat> Are you a dog person or a cat person? Mm. I know this one. I'm going to say dog person because those cats, Bella is just straight. Um, Can you bring in the mama? No. Okay. Bella is going to get back at you. Like when we're gone, she's going to attempt to pee on something, throw up on something. Armani, he's just happy to see me. So I'd probably say dog person. Are you scared of heights? Yes. And I did not realize I was scared of heights until I think it was two years ago. We went to a pumpkin patch and they had this <coughs> real tall slide. And Derek wanted to slide down it. And, I, of course, he was like two at the time. I had to take him up there. And I'm like shaking my legs. Or shaking. And I'm like, that oh. scary. Yeah, what? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes. And there was people around us. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I hope he doesn't fall. Oh, my gosh. I can't look down. Because you could see through the steps. I'm like, I can't look down. I can't look down. I'm like, oh. But I made it. I'm still here. <laughs> what is something you wish you were gifted at doing? Mm, something I wish I was gifting it. Drawing. I wish I could draw. I really do wish I could draw. I think that would really help me if I could draw. If I was good at computer stuff and able to draw, I think I would be really good. So probably drawing. Okay. What is your biggest accomplishment? I would probably say being a mom would be my biggest accomplishment because you guys it is super hard every single day it's hard being a mom not from just the given birth and all that kind of stuff but oh the the day-to-day -day, um making sure you're doing the right things did they eat the right food did they go to bed on time did they brush their teeth so it's an accomplishment that i've made it as far as i have <clears throat> what is your favorite quote it would probably be if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. Okay. 
Do you have a tattoo? No, I do not have a tattoo. I do not have a tattoo. I've thrown around the idea of getting a Mickey Mouse tattoo. I, I, <laughs> I have one picked out. I sent it to my husband. I'm like, I would probably get this tattoo. I don't know. I've never been a tattoo person, but I really did like this one. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to. I, might, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm kind of throwing around the idea. <clears throat> That's weird. What was your first job? Um, a lifeguard. Um, when I was 16, I took the CPR class, a life savings class, and was a lifeguard one summer. What is your biggest fear? Ooh. I know this is really, I will say death is my biggest fear. Just the whole death process, the whole dying process, the not breathing and all that, i that's probably my biggest fear. I, I don't, it just is. Uh, when was the last time you cried? Oh, when was the last time I cried? Um, well, let's talk about that. Um, oh, it would probably be not too long ago crying at some video I watched of a little boy's dad coming home from the military and him not knowing it's for his birthday. And I never saw this. Yes, it was not too long ago. It was um, so cute. Okay, next. Um, who was your first celebrity crush? Ooh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. If my mom or my sister is watching this, <laughs> they're proof. I went and got all those little teeny uh, magazines, cut out all those pictures, taped them on my my closet. When we would go to the grocery store, my mom would buy groceries. I'd hit straight for the magazines, and I would have to find new magazines with new pictures of him. I just thought I was gonna marry him at the ripe old age of twelve. <laughs> one thing you one thing you know now that you wish you knew as a kid. Well, yes, there are many scary people out there. I will say that. Like but no, the stuff, I would say the stuff that I stressed about when I was little, it's just the small things. Like, it's, it's, don't stress about it. It's okay. Just breathe. Just enjoy life and not stress so much. I'm telling you, it seemed like... Everything from test, it's just, I stressed way too much. So probably it, that whole thing, if it's not going to affect you five years from now, then don't give it five minutes of your time. Probably that. What are some of your bad habits? Oh, my bad habits. Drinking way too much coffee. I say cuss words. Yes, I do. I don't say the really bad ones, but I've tried to watch my mouth lately because um, my son started kind of repeating some of the things I was saying. So, probably cuss words. I'm not real bad about it, but yeah, I will say cuss words every once in a while. And what up? Bad habits. I used to bite my nails. I don't really do that anymore. But I would probably oh, say... Oh, biting your jaw? No, I don't do that. Yeah. Do you bite your jaw? Sometimes. When I get really hungry and I try to... <laughs> 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 So that's how you come on with your your No, when I eat what okay. Does it fill you up? When I, when I, when I... We have gumballs in our classroom. So oh, you're I so get, excited I... about eating. Mom? No, when I put them in my mouth, I'm so hungry that when it's over here I bite my jaw. <laughs> Which happens quite often, I might add. Okay, next one. Caffeine and cuss... I mean, coffee and cuss words, I would say. I what need is, that shirt. What is your favorite perfume? Um, It would probably be Philosophy Amazing Grace. I love that. It's a pure smell. It's not too strong. Oh, y'all, that's perfume when you're walking down the mall and somebody says, Woo! Hits you in the face. No, this is real subtle and it smells... It's not overpowering. So, Amazing Grace by Philosophy. <clears throat> what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant would be... What? No, I would no. probably say... No, I would... Either all the time. Uh, I know, but that's the only place here that is gluten-free. Five Guys, because I can get fries. 
I like Chipotle, because remember I eat gluten-free. I like Chipotle. I like Tacos for Life. Those are probably my three. You know, I, I only eat at a few places because I have to eat gluten-free, so I have to ensure that it's gluten-free. So probably Tacos for Life, Chipotle, and Five Guys. No. I like Jason's Deli, too. If I'm going to have a sandwich, it's Jason's Deli. Okay. What is your... What is your describe yourself in three words. Oh, describe myself in three words. Mm -hmm. Organized. Stressed out. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Organized. Um, dedicated. Organized, dedicated, and kind. Neat. That's organized. Organized, dedicated, and kind. Okay. How do you like your eggs? Eggs scrambled or an omelet. It, it depends. Sometimes I like an omelet. Sometimes I like scrambled. Sometimes I'll do a scrambler. So I'll like scramble the eggs and I'll scramble up some pepper and pepperoni or cheese all in it. It just depends on what my mood is. This next one is a no. My dad does this a lot. Do you do you use sarcasm a lot? Oh, yes, no, I do. Don't. Yes, I do. As a teacher, I know they tell you you're not supposed to use sarcasm, but you guys, if I could not be sarcastic, I would not make it to the end of the day. Yes, I'm sarcastic. No, my kids don't get it. No, my kids at school don't always get it, but yes, sarcasm is the way is the way I go. She doesn't do it at home. I'm just saying. Because when I am sarcastic at home, they don't get it. Then I have to spend ten minutes explaining how I really didn't mean what I said. So. My yeah. dad does this a lot. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. What are your fa What are your favorite smells? Favorite smells. I love vanilla. Probably vanilla is my favorite smell. I would say vanilla. Um, oh, cakes. Like, if you walk into it, like a donut shop. Oh, the smell of donuts. I can't eat them, but the smell of donuts in a bakery. I just love that smell. What was your favorite subject in high school? Uh, all of my technology and business classes. All of them. I loved them. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I, I can name mine. <clears throat> some of my favorite YouTubers. Let's see. Love Meg. Pretty Neat Living. Christina Brawley. Christopher Allen, Miss Gold Girl, Graveyard Girl, and Cat and Nat. I just discovered them. Those will be my top seven. Cool. How would you describe your fashion sense? My fashion sense, uh. <laughs> Me? Mm -mm. No, uh, t-shirt and leggings for her. Um, I like to be... Or shorts. Um, sophisticated up. casual, I guess you would say. I like comfort, but I like to look kind of put together as well. If I can wear jeans or leggings, I'm good. So I would say... Um, not me. I'm not put together. Casual, sophisticated, comfy. That's what I would say. I'm not, real, I'm not a trendy person. What is your favorite board game? Apples to apples. No, my favorite. Oh, Scategories. I love Scategories. It's my favorite. If I had to play one, it would definitely be Scategories. What was your favorite childhood book? Alice in Wonderland. Still one of my favorites. I loved Alice in Wonderland. Oh, but can I name three? Two? Two. Alice in Wonderland, Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking was my favorite. Pippi Longstocking and Alice in Wonderland. Two. Next. Okay, she does not do this. Do you play video games? Uh, if I... No, but I love classic Mario. So if I'm ever able to get a Nintendo classic Mario. Love Mario. He's my... That's the only video game I really like is Super Mario Brothers. Uh, okay. Um, do you put... Wait, um, early... Early bird or night owl? Early bird. 
early bird or a night out. Kate's having to sit up on this chair, so she's as tall as me. Small. She's sitting on the back of this chair. I am I'm not, not a mom. night owl at all. By like 8 o'clock, I like to have my bath taken and laying in bed. I like to be asleep by about 11. Up at like 8 would be, you know, the... I'm not really an early bird. I'm kind of a mid-morning person. I like to go to bed at a decent hour and get up at a decent hour. Not super early, but, you know. I'll, I'll go to sleep at 2 o'clock. Okay, next. Um... What is your favorite zoo animal? Favorite zoo animal. Oh, we got three. I'll just tell you all three of my favorites. I like elephants. I like penguins. And I like owls. So those three would be my favorite. I couldn't really decide on oh, one out of the three. Name a confession. Name a confession. I'll give you two. One confession is my house looks like a complete wreck right now. Number two, uh, let me see, a, a confession? I guess it would be, the, er, the earlier thing, what's my bad habits, is I do cuss from time to time. Okay. <clears throat> what are some of your, your nervous hab habits? What are some of my nervous habits? I pick at my nails. I will pick at my nails. I will peel my nails. If I'm nervous, I'll peel my hand. My, my, if I'm nervous, I'll peel my nails. I'll pick at my nails. So that's big. Probably my biggest thing is I'll pick and peel at my nails. Okay, next. Or tap my foot too. I'll move my legs and I'll tap my feet and all that kind of stuff. I do that. What was your first stuffed animals? Wait, no. What? What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Um, a cafe latte. Depending on what I want, grande or venti, cafe latte. What was your first stuffed animal's name? Miss, no, I wouldn't, I don't know what my first stuffed animal's name was. I had all the Care Bears and Cabbage Patch dolls, but if there's one that I can really think of, that's when, the one that Nathan got me, my husband. His name is Mr. Big. He's still in there. If you've seen anything in my closet, you've seen him. He's white. He's he's 20 years old now. This is my first one. Boo Boo Chicken. Yep, and we call it's her Boo Boo. So Boo Boo Chicken, Boo Boo, Boo kind of matched. Okay, what number are we on? We are on, let me see, 35. Okay, let's go because this, this, the camera's dying. Do you have any scars? Do I have any scars? That, 35, do I, do you have any scars? Yep. Yes, I have one on my thumb. You're probably not going to be able to see it. Um, when I was around 10, I climbed over a fence and it was one of those metal fences, and I drug my hand across, and I completely cut my thumb, and my mom had to hold my thumb shut and rush me up to the doctor and get it stitched up. So, yes, my thumb. Then I have a few um, chicken pox scars. I've got one on my forehead and one on my arm. Okay. What was the last thing you bought? The last thing I bought. Four. You didn't buy those. Now, somehow, somebody has shipped me some plastic forks from Walmart. I don't know. Probably laundry hampers. I got on Amazon, and I ordered all of us a set of four of the Sterilite wheeled laundry baskets. So, we're all going to have one now. So, that was my last thing. And I'm going to do a video over all the laundry and all that. So, we're all going to be responsible for our own laundry. What are some of your pet peeves? Slime? Uh, no. Pet peeves. Liars. I don't like liars. I don't like people that suck up. That gets on my nerves. I don't, I, I don't like people that aren't loyal. Um, if we want to get to, like, the house stuff, I don't like, um, I don't like water on the side of glasses and stuff. I have to have a napkin around it if it's got the condensation on it. So, yeah. Next. Okay. What is something you have to do every day? 
make my bed. I have to make my bed every single day. Okay. What is your shoe size? Seven and a half. Unless I'm getting tennis shoes, I usually get an eight. But normally I'm seven and a half. Okay. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? <gasps> by the beach. Alabama. Or by Disney World. Disney she World or the beach. She wants to see me. Yes, I would live at Walt Disney World if I could. What What is your least favorite word? What's that? Oh yeah, her daddy's is can't. She has to do push-ups if she says it. My least favorite word. I'm going to go with hate. Hate. I do use it from time to time, but I really don't like the word hate because I think it, it means... Hate is a very strong word that I think we use too lightly. What number are we on? 42. Okay. Are you left or right handed? I'm right handed. I cannot do anything with, I cannot write with my I left. I can write with both. Okay, next. Do you like clowns? No! No, I don't like clowns. I don't think they're funny. Nope, do not like clowns. Now, I'll watch it, but I don't, nope, I don't like clowns. I, nope. I got nightmares about it. Yeah, I don't like clowns. Mm -mm. What's your favorite superhero? <gasps> Batman has always been my favorite. Batman is my favorite. It all started with um, when Jack Nicholson was in Batman. I, I liked and played the Joker. Loved it. That's Batman. That's Superman. Okay. Superman. Do you talk to yourself? Uh, all the time. In the shower, in the house, shopping. At school, yes, I talk to myself nonstop. I, I tell her every day, "What? Who are you talking to?" I say, she says, "No, I'm talking to myself." Yep, it keeps me sane to talk to myself. What was your first car? My first car was a 1997 Chevy Cavalier. That was a great car. I've only owned two cars, and now I have a Nissan Rogue. Mm -hmm. 2008. Have you ever played a musical instrument? Yes, I used to play the flute in band from 6th grade until ninth grade flute. I couldn't play a lick now if I picked it up. My mom still has my flute. What is your favorite nursery rhyme? The farmer and the tail. Probably Mary had a little lamb. But you know, I like Rockabye Baby too because Derek does not like it at all. Like if I was to start singing Rockabye Baby right now, he'd probably start screaming. Mm -hmm. Because I used to sing it to him all the time when he's a baby. What is your first household chore? What's my what? What is your first household chore? Nuh-uh. What, what is, is your, your favorite? favorite? Oh. My favorite household chore is vacuuming. I love to vacuum. Vacuum gives me such satisfaction to see stuff sucked up in the vacuum. <laughs> what? I don't when you run across the carpet and you hear the sound of it going in the vacuum, I love that. I'm like, yes! Look at all the dirt I'm getting up in that vacuum. And in the vacuum lines, I love it. I, I really like to vacuum. Really, seriously. It gives me satisfaction. Next. This is your last one. Last one, number 50. What is your least favorite household chore? Hand washing dishes. Hate it. Don't like to get my hands wet. Don't oh. like to. It takes oh. too long. Uh, uh. And sometimes, here's a confession. Sometimes I leave things that need to be hand washed in the sink way too long because I hate to hand wash dishes. Oh, one thing. Um, she's not like me with the dirty hands. I will go outside and if there's water running down the road. I'll put my hands in it. She can start washing my dishes then. No. Yes. And that is all for this q and A. I I hope you have enjoyed seeing Kate asking me all of the questions. And I hope you've enjoyed hearing all the questions that I have created, I guess, a few months ago. If you like this type of Q&A, let me know. I thought this was fun. I, I really liked doing this. It was really funny. Was it really funny? It was really funny. Maybe I should let Kate create the questions next time. Let me know if that's something you'd like to do. And we, I can do that for next time. Kate can actually create the questions for me. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this. I hope you hit that little red subscribe button below and become a part of this YouTube family. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And until next time, bye, bye guys. guys.